Hey guys, check this out. So, working on a small call center project here. And I thought I'd show you what we got here. Whoa, let me get this thing open real quick. Alright, interesting packing job. Alright, couple power cords. Alright, these are, uh, I believe, Dell R. Um, I'll open them up real quick and show you what it is. But R220 servers. So let me get these unwrapped and I'll show you what I like about these servers. So these are going to be uh, free PBX. Um, I used to run Elastix, but that whole project got bought out by 3CX or you know another another project to get screwed over by greed. Um, okay, so let me uh, unwrap these servers and I'll show you what's up. All right, guys. So we got these on eBay for about $500 each. So we got two servers because we want some redundancy. So we're going to have a primary server and a backup server. Um, but let me open this up real quick and oh, I guess I got to blow it out. It looks pretty dirty. So, um, okay, cool. So yeah, this should actually have um, 16 gig of RAM. That's what it should have. Yeah, obviously these people didn't clear it out. So I will have to blow it out with my air compressor. It comes with a CD player. And a solid state drive. And that's what I wanted. So, I mean, this should be more than enough for what we're doing for the call center size. Of about, it's going to be about probably 50 people in the next year or two. Um, I mean, they're expanding pretty rapidly. Um, okay, cool. So, I got to blow this out. Let's check the other one out and see if it's the same configuration. But yeah, I wanted two identical servers so I could take the configuration. I don't know if I can make it really real-time failover, but at least I want to have a configuration that's backed up to a secondary server that I can, you know, it's a matter of being down for an hour or being down for eight hours or six hours. Um, you know, because I have to get out there and have to re build a new server. But having a hot spare server, you know, for the price, you know, I mean, that's worth $500. I mean, if you're down for the whole day. You know, if you have a business of 50 people that can't work. So, um... Okay, cool. Look at that. R210. Actually, one of the things I like about this server is how small it is in the back. Um, so this should actually be able to fit into a small... Uh, well, the, the goal was to put this in our rack mount server. A very small um, uh, rack mount server. You know, like a 19-inch rack server, wall mount. Not like a two-post, but just a wall mount. I'll show you that when I'm done with it. But... Uh, so I'm going to be running 3PBX or 36. I haven't really made my mind up yet, but because they're running Cisco phones, um, some of the newer ones, 79, 75s, and some of the newer SIP-based phones, I'm probably going to use 3PBX because there's a better phone configuration manager um, that I can use with those phones. Whereas 3CX, they don't really... I would have to manually create all the phone configurations. So it would take me longer to deploy phones if I actually ran uh, 3CX. Like I said, I have to manually go in and create these XML files for each individual phone config. But look at this. Okay, so this is not even... Okay. Extra, extra wire. Threw me off there for a second. Alright, so i got to blow these out see what's up. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put FreePX on there, I guess. So, alright, cool.